Well, I, I got very, very lucky to be involved in lasers and fiber optics at a time when not that many people were doing lasers and fiber optics. So my interest in that really came from the chemistry side of lasers, where there's lots of work going on in chemistry departments all over the world to use lasers to study molecules, to study reactions, to stimulate photochemical processes. And I was fascinated with the interaction between light and molecules. My interest in chemistry is not necessarily so much from handling the chemistry and synthesizing things. I'm really uh, fascinated by how we can use light to control chemistry and measure chemistry, measure chemistry dynamically. And in particular, I'm more interested in the chemistry that's going on in the body. 20,000 molecules in a cell, what are they all doing? What differentiates a cell that has all those molecules being alive and a piece of plastic or a table that has 10 or 20,000 molecules as well? So those kinds of things were very, very interesting to me. I was really, really into cameras and photography and lenses. So I was really excited by about all those things. And I just kind of found a way over the years to integrate all of that together. When I was an undergraduate, these things really didn't exist as integrated disciplines. Today, students are really lucky that they have a field like biomedical engineering that brings all of these different areas together and it gives students lots of flexibility to explore things in different ways. I think one of the unifying features of that field is that it tries to apply quantitative techniques, whether they're new technologies, mathematical models, or just entirely new ways of thinking about how systems work together to understand biology and medicine. Where I kind of sit in in all this is I like to go across spatial scales. So I'm very, very interested in molecular aspects of biology, physiology, and disease, and then trying to link understanding of that all the way to improving outcomes for patients. As I learned more about what professors do, as I was an undergraduate and I was very excited to have an opportunity to get to know my professors, I think that became more clear to me. Sure. Well, so I think I'm, I'm addicted to basketball and I, I've been addicted for a really long time. I'm really lucky to have a great group of basketball players at UC Irvine. Most of them are in biomedical engineering and we play every morning on Fridays at the Anteater Recreation Center. So I'm expecting all of you will show up at that game when you're visiting. <laughs> I do bike, yes, and I, I, I bike for transportation too. So I'm very lucky to be able to do that. And I've been doing that, I think probably since the first bike revolution hit the United States back in around 1972. So I've been a bike there commuter a bike for I th roughly around then in the seventies. Yeah. Everybody started biking and biking was suddenly the thing to do. So I started biking and I've been biking ever since. Mm -hmm.